The reigning AAC Offensive Player of the Year is now in the NFL. Tulane's Tajay Spears finished with over 1,500 rushing yards and 19 touchdowns his last season in New Orleans. Now, as Tulane tries to stay on top of the conference, they have to do so without Spears. And the team admits he's not easily replaceable. Well, it's hard. He's a great player. You know, we, we you know, expect him to play a lot for the Tennessee Titans this year. So he's a pretty good player. Um, and I, I, the scout, who's a buddy of mine, is there right now, called me just the other day and told me how impressive he was with his work ethic and his explosiveness. And he's better than what they anticipated. So that's, I think that's, uh, you know, He's a great player, so it's hard to replace a great player. So the big question now is who will Tulane be able to rely on this year? Head coach Willie Fritz says they'll play a lot of running backs early, and he believes eventually a few guys will start to separate themselves. we got to find out who, who those people are. You know, and, uh, you know, we got Shadi Clayton and you know Arnold we talked about, and Iverson Celestine, and Shedro Lewis is a new guy. Makai Hughes has done some things. I'm probably forgetting somebody. but. Uh, we, we've got some very talented backs, and we'll see exactly who's going to end up playing the majority of snaps. You know, someone's going to come out. Someone's going to be the bell cow. You know, and probably going to take a few weeks for us to figure out who that is. Aside from Spears last year, Iverson Celestine and Shoddy Clayton Johnson were the second and third most productive running backs. They combined for nearly 800 yards and a touchdown. Covering Tulane football, Madeline Adams, Fox 8, local first.